All right, it's December 27th, 2020, and here we are at a night jasmine. So this plant here, I had actually purchased, has been quite windy the past couple of days, and I had this plant set up on a post and it fell over. And as you can see here, um, we've got some unintentional cuttings. You can see the plant took quite a bit of damage, um, but not so much as to cause it to start dying. So I'll go ahead and make those cuttings and uh, we'll pick back up over where I'm gonna be planting them. All right, so there are the cuttings and these are all from branches that I've broken off of that um, night jasmine. So I'm not sure if you guys know what exactly is special, so special about the night jasmine and uh, why it's called the night jasmine. For those of you out there who don't know, um, this plant flowers at night. So uh, I don't really know too far into detail how that occurs, whether it be by moonlight or the plant just senses that it is nighttime, but it is a night bloomer um, and you can smell it. It's got a very strong fragrance um, and if you set it uh, somewhere where the wind blows it towards the house, you will definitely catch the scent of this plant and it is beautiful. Um, like I said, I grew up knowing uh, the scent of this plant and um, it's just kind of nice to get a, a memory of childhood when I smell this plant. Um, but like I said, here are the cuttings. I've got them separated here. So I decided that I would grow them separately just to see how they would fare um, based on the age of the cutting. So as you can see here, these cuttings look um, a bit older than the rest of these here. This one is singled out because he's shorter than the rest, um, which means he's got less nodes. Um, and the nodes are these here. These every, every inch or so there is a node and that's where either a leaf or a branch would pop out of. And you can see these cuttings are definitely younger than these older ones here. So I'm gonna grow this guy in his own three inch pot and these two separate groups are gonna go into um, their own one gallon pot. So all these cuttings, I'm just gonna just poke into the, the potting mix there and just keep it that way and whatever uh, however many of them survive i'll go ahead and separate it then um, when they do show signs of survival i'll give them a chance to get a substantial amount of roots and then i'll transplant them into their own one gallon pots but uh we'll leave that for when it actually does happen or if it actually does happen so i'm going to go ahead and get these guys potted up and we'll pick back up so there we have it um, got the cuttings planted here. As you can see here, this pot with, with the younger cuttings have five cuttings in them. And I honestly don't know how that's going to turn out. This one has the older cuttings. And the single cutting is down there in the smaller pot. So we'll come back if and when we start seeing some signs of uh, life. All right guys, so it's January 29th, 2021, and it's been approximately a month, just a little over a month. And as you can see here, the cuttings did just fine. Uh, once again, this is miracle Grow potting mix that they're growing in. I just made sure to keep the soil moist to encourage the cuttings to root. No rooting hormones uh, were used in this little uh, project here. Um, as you can see, here's the young cutting also doing well. So for the most part, all I did was make sure that the soil stayed moist. So I just kind of water the pot, um, maybe with about an inch. When I see the water rise up to about an inch, then I just leave it at that. Um, when the top of the soil seemed like it was drying out. So that was maybe every two days or so. Um, you don't want to drench it or it'll just cause mold and um, the cuttings will die. But you can see here that the cuttings that have made it are doing just perfectly fine. We've got some new growth coming off on these two cuttings. Nothing from these two. However, this cutting is still green, so he's still got time 
Um, these don't show any growth on them, but if you look very closely on this node here, there's a little branch coming out. So these guys have probably got a couple more weeks to go before I've um, made up my mind uh, that it's time to transplant them into their own pots. But once again, these are night jasmine cuttings. And as you can see, well, I, I would like to think that majority of cuttings don't take too much to root. So rooting hormones aren't exactly necessary, but they could increase your chances of getting these cuttings um, to start rooting. However, like I said, they are not necessary and I prefer not to use rooting hormones. I wanna see if the plant can make it on its own. But for those, I understand we, we can't all be in that situation. Some of us don't have access to cuttings all the time and um, it's a one-time hit. So you try to get the most out of it. But there you go. Once again, this is the jasmine, the night jasmine. And um, this was just a little video to show you that putting them into miracle Grow potting mix and keeping the soil moist does perfectly fine. We'll come back in the future to do a video on the transplantation. But as for now, that's all we got. Thanks for watching.